Hello, my name is Jose Barriga. Welcome to the next video in the conversion of a uh, Nissan Sentra to an electric car. And um, I have not made much progress, but the progress I made this time, um, I'm really satisfied with how it, uh, I did it. So I wanted to show you a little more of what I did. Basically, I've been working on the air conditioning. Um, as you remember, um, the um, I, I put things outside of the main uh, engine area, so um, this is where I put the condenser and the fan, and uh, this is where I put the compressor, if you remember in the previous video, the, 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 the compressor is here behind this, on the, um, in the front of the wheel, and the controller is under, so that's how it, uh, it was protected, it's a little box here, so it's protected from the rain. And uh, um, I'm very happy how that that works. Um, oh, and what else? I changed the cable, the, the emergency cable disconnect because it was uh, it's a, it was a very bad cable. So what I did is I got a professional cable. This is the cable made from uh, it's, it's for ATVs or motorcycles. So it works much better now. The handle is a little smaller. So. Um, it works better and um, as I say I'm very happy with the results of the air conditioning and what I did is um, I connected the buttons of the air conditioning pretty much like the original car is I had to get another uh, uh, controller like this because this was severely damaged the buttons were broken this was broken so I got a new one uh, it works really good this is the temperature control and what I did is I removed the mechanical part and I connected a potentiometer uh, it turns out that this fits very well in this place very very well so it goes like this I tied it to this and then I just put the knob and it worked really well and uh, the rest pretty much uh, this is the module that goes in here uh, it goes something like this uh, what I did is I hacked into the, one of the bottoms, the air conditioning, and I'm using these connectors directly into the uh, into my air conditioning now, so it works with the regular buttons, and it's working really great. Uh, I'm going to show you here how it works. Go this way, please. Okay, so the emergency disconnect is here. It's much smaller now. It's much smaller. It just it works really great. And the air conditioning buttons, they they're just uh, standard buttons. I mean, it looks very uh, OEM. Is is I use all the other regular buttons here. And let me show you how this works. So this is still working normally. This too. And the air conditioning is now turned on through this button. I'm not sure if you can hear. I'm not sure if you can hear from the um, and the in the camera how it works. And it cools pretty good. I mean, it it, it works. It's very nice to drive with the air conditioning on. It takes a while to start. I'm not sure why but it starts and it's not disconnecting and blow or blowing the fuses anymore okay so it's on and this will let me control the speed you can tell Now it's a little noisy, but once I'm driving, I can hardly hear it. So I'm very happy with the results. It's cooling very nicely. It's warm and it's hot right now, and I can drive much, much better. Okay, so um, what else I did? Um, I uh, installed the vacuum canister that I bought. I ended up installing it here it is here now um, so basically this was directly connected to the uh, to the vacuum main vacuum booster now it's connected to this canister 
this pressure switch is now connected here this disconnects the pump when there's no uh, pressure this is a sensor this is a filter and the sensor that will go into the ga gauge um, and this goes to the booster now now I've seen several conversions using these canisters and I've seen that they put this check valve in the wrong place this has to be on the side of the pump some persons have, I've seen some conversions where they install this in the in the uh, booster side it has to be installed in the in the pump side because this will uh, uh, let the air pass this way but will block the air com from coming back so that's that's important this is important anyway this is the um, this is the sensor that will uh, alert me when the pressure uh, goes below a certain uh, level this is a safety issue if I lose the vacuum it will let me know before I, I really in, I'm really in trouble so what I'm working on uh, it's pretty much everything here is done it's pretty much time it's pretty much time to uh, work on the uh, dashboard indicators so the first indicator I have is this which is just showing the vacuum uh, pressure the, the vacuum level and it will beep when it goes below a certain level and the second thing I'm going to work in the near future is to add uh, a router a router and that would let me get in my phone some wireless information about this it will let me uh, basically wirelessly get some information about the control in real time uh, I'll show you more when I have that done uh, so dashboard and the uh, wireless router Thank you for watching. I hope you find this useful.